Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to be continuing Goblin Slayer Episode 7, courtesy of a Patreon request. Thanks to Brandon Schumack. I appreciate that. Uh, we are over halfway through this series, actually. Um, we, uh, on, I mean, the last, I mean, really, since Episode 1, uh, it's kind of taken a different turn. I thought the whole thing would be... After seeing the first episode, I thought it would be just completely gory. I, was, I, I thought it was going to be like that every episode. And instead, it's kind of turned into... Uh, to be honest, I'm kind of happy it went this way because it makes these characters a lot... I like the characters he's venturing with, uh, the Goblin Slayer, and uh, as well as like the relationships between them and the back and forth uh, because of how interesting of a character he is. Uh, it's good to have those type of um, people around him. And I kind of like it that way. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some spots where I like the the horror and it's nice to be shocked to hell. But um, this type of uh, this type of story has been really intriguing. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start this. <laughs> Can't you just have cheese and boobs? I mean, who can read that guy outside of wanting to kill goblins? Uh, you would be... Uh, body and goblins would be one in the same. Uh, oh, God. Damn. Yes. Fuck yes. <laughs> okay. Significantly better. So it's going to be this kind of episode. I am not complaining. Even with scars, the body is flawless. You thought you were going to get a, a, a nice and gory episode? Nope, you're getting boobs and fan service. As long as there's goblins involved. Um, well, you'll stop doing, there'll be no more goblin quests, you'll, or you'll stop doing goblin quests and then he'll disappear. Though that is actually kind of, you have to think like, the stuff he fights and the situations he gets into on the daily and eventually you would think, yeah, it, he would lose because he doesn't say no to these. So we could find a, a quest that has too many goblins or a bad situation. Uh, it's, it is a matter of time if you think about it that way. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. I see as long as he has this group with him, he does so much better. Oh, you got dwarf, lizard man, elves, a healer. Oh yeah, and he's got a girl from the farm too. Building himself a harem. And he doesn't even realize it. Goddamn. She's acting so nice and sweet now. There it is. There's the way she normally acts right there. We've seen some things that we didn't think could do as much damage in this. Do it. So it wouldn't surprise me if that canary could just literally rip people to pieces. Yeah, normally you go head first into him, but he's being smart. And why didn't it show us what happened after this? What was going on in those baths? Go, go, go. 
聞く明かりを使おう戦士か兵士いや冒険者たちというこの画風はここ四五百年よりも前のもんじゃろうしあもしかして秩序の勢力として戦って That would not surprise me The goblins just take over the nastiest areas. I. That hasn't always happened, though. Especially if they're in groups, they're not going to run from them. Yeah, but that's when there usually is traps. When you. I mean, that's the point of a trap. You're not supposed to know when they're placed or where they're at. Now that's the Goblin Slayer. We know! Oh God. Oh God. It's a trap. Or, oh God! Um. I guess that already happened. Um. This is why you don't go into big rooms like this in a dungeon. They baited them in there. They were waiting for him. Yeah, and it's harder to move in that and you don't want to breathe. We don't have any... I would think that would be such a simple magic is to have something to get rid of poison. He really did set himself up for any situation. The bad situations like this. Well, they're prepped for poison in dungeons and all of 2020. This is actually better than I thought they would be in here, especially once they got put in this room. It seems like in this world, magic is so... They only can do things so many times. Everything has like a, a certain number amounts you can do. It's very limited when you do magic. It makes it feel like the stakes are high when there's limits like that. Uh, at least... One, okay, more than one are still alive. They look like they want to get some group action going on. They're pent up. Oh boy. After watching, I'm watching Reincarnate into Slime at the same time as watching this, and it makes me, uh, have feel very weird about goblins because I'm watching this and I hate the goblins to hell but then I love the goblins in that show and I keep thinking about the ones in this show so it warps my memory of them in that show god damn it what have you done goblin slayer I feel like all goblins are like this horny and crazy and ready to do some bad things cop um his sides got split. Oh! Yeah. Oh, shit! That's fucking... That looked fucking badass. They need to do more of that slow motion angles. Oh, uh, uh, he's about to go... <laughs> about to do it. About to go headless. Holy... Fuck. This is what she was worried about. But you have to worry about the situation in general. You still have protection spells. Um. She got distracted and was too worried about him to keep it. No, they're not gonna go. Didn't we learn from episode one? Oh boy. It's Goblin Daddy. And Daddy wants to play. Why did that look like she pissed her pants? Oh God! Oh God! What the fuck? Oh shit! Oh shit! Holy fuck, it actually did that to her! 
are they? Can we get a can we get a do-over, please? What the fuck? What does that represent? What the what the fuck is going on? How can you deny the dice? Ooh, some type of explosion, probably. Or no? Oh! Oh! I think. I think we beat the first episode in fucking gore. Wait. Oh! He's using the fucking hair. He's choking daddy with the hair. Yep. This ain't a kid's show. Well, we already knew that. A very unlikely weapon. Holy god damn. They were they were already it. They were all over her already. No shirt. She's going to need some treatment. We need a medic. Oh wait. She's the medic. Where's Chopper at? Wait, what? Think he looked real hard onto your fist. God damn, he's. It's like he's going against death right now. God. I also feel like that dice roll, it was like denying death, but denying fate. Like, it's like he was supposed to roll double sixes or he's supposed to roll like a, a roll that wouldn't work and he is denying fate completely. I, I, it seemed very, the way it was being shown, it just kind of reminded me of like that. And if that was the direction they were going there, they, they completely did it perfect. She was this close from a really small bad time. See, if he'd gone by himself, dead. But because he's found a group, can live through situations like this. I really thought this was game over. They made it seem like that. Oh, yeah, he's in some bad places himself. No, they're not going to. They're not going to kill him, are they? I thought he defeated fate. I thought he smashed the dice and said they're not goblins. That is so damn eerie. While the bird watches. There's got he can't be dead. It would make no sense. There's still like seven episodes left or six episodes left. What is with this? And why is it showing it through this? Um, this is the longest shot ever. It's definitely a sad moment. It look, you know what this you know what this reminds me of? Like a game over screen. You lost, shows the last scene, shows you dead. Maybe that's what they're kind of going for here. Like, game over, here's the game over music. Do you want to continue, restart from the beginning? Okay, that's the cliffhanger of the season, for damn sure. I guess it's technically the middle of the series, right? Episode 7, kind of right in the middle. But holy shit, I didn't expect, after we saw episode 1, I was talking about this in the beginning, saying it turned into a completely different toned show for the most part. We got like little reminders that episode 1 happened. Um, but I like how I talk about that in the beginning and then they go back to that to the extreme where, I mean, we saw the elf get most of her clothes turn off. We saw the healer. We saw everybody. It was almost to those levels, even more so because I really thought it was over, like in the middle of that there. I, I have to say, I think this is probably my favorite episode because episode one for all the gore and how much of a surprise it was, and it made it so exciting but horrifying at the same time, 
it's a great episode. It's a great way to build, but I think this one felt more meaningful with the gore and the way it was displayed. And I felt more invested because we've gotten to know the characters now. In episode one, you're not invested. So when we saw the, that group kind of like get how bad things happened, yeah, we felt bad for them, but we weren't we weren't attached to the characters here we are i was seeing the elf getting i felt for the elf. i, I felt for the girl like the girls here because we've gotten used to them we've gotten to know them so well and uh that's why i feel like this episode kind of takes the cake here when it comes to my favorite episodes uh, of the series so far um but i think the biggest thing is the uh the, I, I call it the game over screen because they have that same shot for it seemed like at least a minute to a minute or two. It, it reminded me of like old horror games where you lose or whatever. Uh, what was that really old game? Alone in the Dark or something. I, I remember like you lose, you get dragged to the basement, you die and it show, it plays that horrifying like music in the background and it's just one shot and it's usually like a death or something there um that's what that reminded me of it's like it's a game over and they even kind of did that like you rolled the dice you tried to defy fate and you lost um and it really made it seem like he was going to defy fate there you know fuck the dice and it ended up slaying the the uh goblins goblin slayer um but i don't know the way that this is a cliffhanger because the way they showed it there I, it wouldn't surprise me from the gore the things i've seen with this series so far um could they kill him off that I don't know where you would go with the series if they, if they did that though that would surprise the shit out of me especially midway like this with they um yeah midway through this series and there's only what 13 episodes or something I'd be very surprised because I don't know how you go from that uh, where would you go in the story because we've had this build up we've invested all this time into the goblin slayer killing him off would feel so dirty but what else in the i mean i guess a lot of things in this series feel dirty bad dirty good dirty i mean we got a combo in this show um but definitely my favorite episode as usual great uh patreon request thank you again um this uh god yeah this is a nice cliffhanger i had a f i had a fun time with this one um i appreciate you guys watching these make sure you check all the uh all the social medias join us on discord twitter all that good stuff um if you're weirdly not subscribed to youtube yet for some reason i don't know how you got over to patreon but if you if somehow weirdly didn't go check uh feel free to subscribe on youtube um <laughs> thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time Bye bye